I really miss the old Minecraft structures. So let's spend over 100 hours rebuilding them in our world. Seems reasonable. I'm also going to throw in a top secret map that you're not allowed to know about yet. So let's jump straight into our first map. Here should be a pretty good spot. So let's do a quick bit of terraforming and that looks like a mountain. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this tutorial world is going to be broken down into three separate sections. The spawn area, the little town thing in the middle, and the castle off to the side. And starting with the spawn area, we're going to build up some of these fishing ponds. This weird furnace thing. A load of trees and grass to give this place some life. And of course, the infamous half-built house in the middle. Maybe it will be built someday. Probably not. And that looks so much better already. And when you walk under the bridge, you see nothing. Oh. Oh yeah, still have to build the map. Don't I? And now that the first step of the map is finished, we can move on to building up the town in the middle. And I mean, these houses are basic. So realistically, this shouldn't take that long, right? Right? As basic as these houses are, they look kind of... What is that? What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? What is this? So now we're moving on to the final step of this map, which was going to be our main castle. But first, we need a way to get to it. So let's dig out a tunnel, place down some rails. And are you ready for the first minecart journey in this entire world? It's a, a little slow, <laughs> but it's fine because now we can actually start building our castle. And with all of that being done, we can move on to building our big sign in the middle and it's all done. Which means now it's time to move on to our next map. Which is actually my favorite out of all the maps in this video. Just like the last map, this one's also going to need a spawn area. But we're also going to be adding this extremely complex redstone system. Which would bring even the best redstoners to their knees. Well, apart from that and this little dam thingy, they're pretty similar. But that ends as soon as you walk through the tunnel. Because we're met with nothing again. Ugh. Just kidding. Look, we have an entire courtyard. Where did that come from? Totally didn't spend over an hour building it. No, 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 no. no. But before we start on the main building, off to the left, I want to turn this area into a desert. So let's start by flattening out the area. Looks good. So now, let's start replacing all of this dirt and stone with some sand. And of course, we need a centerpiece. Something like this sandstone temple. Looks, looks spicy. Alright, well now that that's taken care of, we can start building the outer shell of our castle. Which we're gonna do by placing in some of these stone bricks. And some vines for good luck. And oh, the nostalgia is starting to set in already. And now that we have the exterior of the castle finished, we can move on to building the six different rooms inside. Starting with this room, which is going to be a library. So let's first place in all of our bookshelves. Put down some of these benches. Boom, 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 boom. And with the enchantment table down, we can start building the kitchen? Brewing room? Whatever this room is. Let's get our cauldrons in. This really small sugarcane farm. And at the end of this corridor, sealed away and guarded behind a wall of lava, is Ludo's deepest, darkest secret. And the only way that you're gonna know what it says is if you play the world for yourself. Play the world for myself? What's this? How, how is that possible? Because I'm gonna be putting up a world download for the Ordon project when we hit 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe if you wanna find out what my deepest, darkest secret is. Moving on, I started building up not one, not three, but two bedrooms on the top floor. 
with a lever leading over to our portal room. And the last thing we're going to do for the castle is to build this underground hallway with this lava pit, which is going to take me hours of strategizing and calculations to try and figure out how to get across. Because if I don't do this right, that could be it for this world. We're going to lose Sam. We're going to lose Paul, the planet, I guess. We're going to lose the entire world. Oh, hey, look, a lever. Cool. Coming back outside, I started building up the farms to the right of the main gate. First, marking out our pens for all of our different animals. Like that. Yeah, looks good. So now we need to start collecting up all of our animals to go in their pens. Come on. No, stop breaking the leads. Please, just follow me. Ah! That wasn't so bad. Let's call our dog sheep and not dog. I know, I'm very creative. And that is our animal farm finished. Look at them. Trapped forever. Nice. And so now I'm going to start building up our crop farm with some pumpkins, melons, and wheat because that's all they had back then. And again, the last thing we need to do is build our Minecraft sign. And ooh, ooh, one trip back to the sheep farm later and that is area two finished. And with the tutorial worlds out of the way, we can finally move on to another really nostalgic map, which is going to fit perfectly in this area right here. And this one's going to take a lot of terraforming. Like, like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like a lot, a lot. A lot. That was a lot. And in this area here, we're going to be building up the main centerpiece of the map. And for that, we need dirt and stone. So we can start by building his lower jaw, building up his beard and his eyes. And that is haunting. <laughs> can you tell what it is yet? No? Nah. No, nothing? No. Let's fill in the eyes and perfect. I can sleep again. <laughs> and this area is so sick. Look at that. But now we need to work on making his eyes actually open and close. But first, let's build up a viewing platform. So I think if we make the activation switch here, by the time we actually run over to the island, it will be activated. So first things first, we need to dig a trench from our pressure plates here to inside Notch's head. We'll put in a simple redstone line, place in our pistons and our water. There we go. So in front of me, I have two different books. One's called subscribed and one's called not subscribed. And we're going to use these to test if I'm bad at redstone or not. I think I know what the answer is. Okay, so let's say, for example, you're not subscribed for some reason. Let's see what happens when we throw this book into the well. Is this going to work? It actually does. He's crying. Why are you crying? <laughs> I can't believe it actually works. But now, let's say you are subscribed. What happens when we throw this book into the well? And I really hope this one works. Oh, eyes are open. No tears, looking good. All I'm saying is you should, you should subscribe. This is a dumb bit. Okay, let's get back to the video. But this map was a break compared to the next map we're building. Which, you know, could end our entire world or whatever. It's, it's no big deal. I'm scared. It's so weird. A lot of the footage I had for this build is just gone. And I have no idea how... <laughs> <gasps> See? Something strange is going on around here. But anyway, let's move on to our biggest and most dangerous map, which is going to be the dropper. And we're going to start by building up three different cylinders that our levels are going to be in. And now we have the very fun task of removing all of this. Uh, while he's doing that, we're going to start collecting all the blocks we're going to need for our first level. And the first level we're going to be doing is the iconic rainbow spiral map. So let's go fill up over 18 shulker boxes of different colors of concrete powder. But now we have concrete powder, we need concrete. So let's head down to our little converter here and just... Okay, yeah, this isn't working. So let's spend the next two hours building this concrete converter. And now we can just AFK here for like 15 minutes and boom, it's all done. This thing's amazing. And look at that, he has it all dug out. Good job, Ludo. Please let me leave. I haven't eaten and slept in days. Please, I miss my family. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. So just as I was about to say, let's start placing in all of our concrete. Starting small down here and making like a spiral pattern going the whole way up. I mean, it's slowly starting to look like the dropper. Like, you can see the dropper in that, right? And we're almost there as well. We just have this to do, and then we are done level one. So let's, let's finish this. And placing in our water at the bottom, this step is 
pretty important. We have all the blocks placed in, but I'm going to wait till the very end and do all the levels in one go. And with this level done, we can move over here. And oh my God, it's already dug out. Imagine that. And this one is going to be the mines. This one's going to be a bit harder than the last level because now we need to dodge and weave things flying at us. We need to raise these walls all the way up to the top of here first. And then we can get to the fun stuff. Okay, let's, let's do this quickly. And now we can start building up some of these minecart bridge things. And we can build up some of these little archways i guess with these fences which are gonna look something like this but now we have a, a lot of these to do <laughs> let's get building and have you uh noticed anything missing from our bridges from our minecart track bridges that's right we need rails which is fine let's just get some gold uh <laughs> And now, okay, I could mine it by hand, like a like a peasant, but we're not about that around here. No, 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 no. Instead, we're going to build a gold farm. But first, I put up a poll on the channel recently of what we should name this guy. I have him called Johansson for the minute because, come on, look at him. But because of this comment, instead, we're going to be calling him Boomy McDynamite. Great name. <laughs> so, Boomy McDynamite, I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. You could just, you can just do your thing over there. You just, you do you. Okay. So, let's spend the next two hours hours building up this massive gold farm and that should be enough gold for all of our rails let's get these all placed in and boom and with that one being done we can move on to our final level so the game plan for this one is we're going to take a section of the world and turn it sideways but the first thing you need to do is to finish extending this wall down to the floor which is not lining up oh no and this side doesn't line up either. It's not that difficult. Now we need to place in all of our dirt, which is going to be making up our landscape. Add in some sand patches for good measure. And some clouds too. Oh yeah, buddy. That's, that's a cloud. <laughs> what is that? You know what? I like it. I'm going to keep it. Stay mad. <laughs> and the last thing we need to do is to add in our trees, which we're going to be dodging. Our water at the bottom. And that's it. It's time. It's time to separate the boys from the men. The noobs from the pros. The... I ran out of things to say, but it's time. And of course, to make this harder, we're going to be doing this without any armor or any totem. So one wrong move and that is our entire world done. Let's do this. Okay, okay. First one's done, but we're not out of the woods yet. Next one's gonna be harder, so let's not lose momentum. Okay, to keep this interesting, we have to hit that small patch of water right there. Yes, okay, okay. On to the last and hardest level. This level is so hard because we have to thread the needle through a one block gap. Well, this is it. All or nothing. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. If we don't make this final jump, everything we've done so far will be gone. And we'll lose this world forever. 